All right, today we have some comfy, cozy, low heat for you to unbox. As you can see, I uh, just without thinking started to open this package, but then I was like, you know what? I'll make a video. I'll make a video for you guys, for the YouTubes. Um, but I haven't taken a look at the products yet. I haven't opened that box, have not seen inside. So that it's, the, the, the tape was ripped, but that's it. So anyways, we have uh, so have some uh, house shoes, house sandals, house slippers, footwear for the house. We're coming out of the pandemic, for sure. Um, you, know, you know, some areas, things aren't getting better. But for the most part, we're coming out of the pandemic. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll be back in it. Either way, clothes from working, living at home have become trendy popular. And with that, you know, things like Birkenstocks come back into fashion. Uh, fashionable clothes to go get Starbucks in. And so, you know what? I felt I needed a pair. More so, Notra was having a big sale, and so that tipped me over the edge. Not really a uh, preppy menswear guy anymore. There was a phase, there was a phase, I'll admit it, where, you know, the, the Esquire GQ look was both in, and I was following those trends not anymore. That being said, I've always fancied myself as a guy. I could see a version of myself with an expensive whiskey sitting at a ski snowboard resort chalet, Jackson Hole, um, you know, rental house with other rich, famous people. That has yet to happen. But, you know, I do go up to Big Bear sometimes. <laughs> so <laughs> I will have appropriate footwear for inside the Airbnb. First though, I wanted to uh, show you this. This pickup, also on sale at Notra, I think is absolute fire. This is from Engineered Garments. I can't even fit it all in one frame. Might have to raise this up a bit. Uh, I got things in the background though, so I have, a, I have a dust devil in the background. Anyways, Engineered Garments Parka, retailed for like 900 it was on sale for like less than five it was like half off plus take another 20 percent off i uh I, I couldn't resist sales are not why you should buy something let that be said that you know but of course it does factor in i thought this would have been it said park i thought this would have been more heavyweight it is not it is not a maybe sub-zero degree weather coat so that is a little disappointing but this i can just tell they included this jank hanger. What the hell? It's like something I'd buy at Target. Um, this jacket, look at this coated wax, kind of wax finish to it. This thing from en Engineer Garments has some great, I don't know, at least in pictures and photos, it looks, looks really dope. And this jacket looks fire. I can't, again, I can't get it all in one. I did not plan this properly. Uh, I got a hard, old hard drive in the background, my freaking scale for weighing my fat ass. Anyways, can you see that? That's a little better. That, I, I can't wait to put this on. It's got this cool little like brimmed hood. Anyways, Engineer Garments has some uh, dope stuff. I just bought like a vest, a vest with a hood on it from them. Uh, let's see if I find that. Where is that? Where is that? No, it's in the other room. Damn it. Maybe I'll show it in another video, but okay. On to the thing that you wanted to see if you clicked on this video. Today we have the Birkenstock Arizona Shearling in Mountain View Green. Let's take a look at these rich people sandals. That's unfair. A lot of the sneakers I review are very expensive. Doesn't mean I'm rich, but anyways, you know, you, you get what I'm getting at. I'm just teasing. I'm just playing. I own a pair of these now, so I'm I'm part of the Birkenstock Club, Burke Boys. Whoo! Now these, I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. Right right away, I can tell you, I wouldn't want to wear these without socks. You're in luck. I wore socks for this video. You don't have to look at my ugly feet. Although I keep, a, I'm pretty well groomed for a dude. I I have, I have decent looking feet. I think L little hairy toes here and there. Anyways, I wouldn't want to sweat in these, get these dirty with my feet, so I'm going to be a sock wearer for sure. 100% be wearing socks with these. 
I wish they would have had these buckled for me already. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of the sizing on the fly here. I'm not going to fully buckle them. We'll keep this video rolling. And I don't want to edit, so I'm not going to pause and do these and then have to edit that together. So we're just going to do a light, a light buckling. Maybe I'll buckle them more once I get them on feet. Um, so these retail for, I think, 160 bucks. 160 bucks. Notra was having a sale. They were like, they were, I think, 80, half off, and then another 20% off. So I think I got these for $64. Now, Birkenstocks are always going on sale because they're crazy expensive to begin with. $160 for some house sandals. Uh, yeah, that's a little... That's a little crazy, so I would always, to begin with, recommend only buying these on sale. They go on sale right now. You can go to the Birkenstock website, and these, I think, are 96 on the Birkenstock website. I think these are still on sale on Notra for, like, half off as well, for, like, 80. Um, we'll get into sizing here. I'll try them on in a second, see if they see if I did this correctly. These are my first pair, so I don't know. Um, men's 13. U.S. men's 13. I'm a, a U.S size 12 so these could be a little big i think these run small we shall see 46 european size 11 and a half uk size uh maybe these might be a little big i tend to go bigger in sandals as long as you're not tripping over stuff and falling uh real quick you got the this like faux cork composite uh what is what is this called not composite is it Anyways, it's the glued together particulate kind of foam cork. Here's the outsole, sort of rugged, a little soft. I won't walk on a ton of rocks on these. We'll see how comfortable it is. Has some, looks like it has a little bit of arch support. And then I think this is made, made in Germany. Birkenstock's a German company from the late 1700s. They started, I did a little research beforehand. Um, they started make, manufacturing, or I don't know, selling product in the US in the 60s. Uh, let's see, does it have the materials on here? Uh, Nubuck suede natural cork, that's the thing. And, and actual, it says fur, it doesn't say, it doesn't say faux fur. So this might actually be, uh, sheep's, uh, wool fur as shearling, uh, made in Germany. And then, uh, an EV, EVA sole. So, all right. I have my Stussy Nike slides on. These things, I did an unboxing, these things get dirty. I've worn them to Starbucks and outside. These definitely take dirt well. These were kind of my out indoor slippers, but again, I just wore them out. You get sweaty on the, on the bottom here if you're wearing these without socks. So anyways, they came out with, they dropped more of those recently with the Stussy uh, Air Force One collection, Air Force Mid collection in different colors. All right, let's try these on, see how I did for sizing. Already these look fire, right? With my juvenile, my juvenile big timers, hot boys, stance socks. These absolute flames, both literally and figuratively. Well, not literally, literally in the design. I hate when people use the word literally incorrectly. Um, but yeah, these big timers socks are perfect with this mountain view green. It's been, again, this, I'm not, I refuse to edit this video. I'm not going to put these on for you and edit this video. You're welcome. If you're watching this far and are not subscribed, uh, please subscribe. I'm going to have to edit this video because of uh, these things. So for that extra effort, please subscribe. Um, so I did have to go to like the, the widest loop on these and I don't have that fat of feet. Uh, I could go a little tighter, I think. I just laced them, uh, laced them, strapped them very quickly. Sizing definitely would not go half size down. I wouldn't even go true to size. Size 13 is like a full size and a half up for me. Um, I wouldn't maybe go that size, but I would go half size up for sure. Half size up to a full size up. I don't know about a size and a half up like I did. I must have interpreted the, the sizing a little wrong. But these aren't bad. So I'm 11 and a half, sometimes 12. These apparently are size 13 in, in the U.S. And you can see there's extra heel room here. But I'm not going to trip and break my neck in these. At least I hope not. I haven't tested them out, obviously. But they seem to fit nicely. Uh, nice enough. I'm not going to return these. So that's good. That's good. So there you have it. I think these look pretty good on feet. 
um, made in Germany. They seem very comfy, very cozy. We'll keep the feet warm. Now I have the perfect footwear if the Kardashians ever invite me, invite me to Jackson Hole or for around the house working from home, especially in the winter. Um, I don't know, these might get a little sweaty in warm weather, but I'm always wearing these with socks. That's, that's for sure. Not going to be doing feet in these. You'd need very clean feet also to be wearing in these. And this is going to get matted and gross. These are uh, sock sandals for sure, in my opinion. Maybe I'll venture out to, you know, get a, get a grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew, but that's about it. These are mainly going to be worn in-house. Uh, this is not a Birkenstock house, but now uh, I have a pair and the lady has bought these. This is also in the, the Arizona, what, silhouette cut. These are the completely EVA foam Birkenstocks that she got. I don't know about sizing for her, but she likes... She, oh, okay, here we go. She's a ladies L7. She is a size 7 and she wears these and likes them. These are kind of pricey though. These I think retail for 50 bucks and these are definitely just rubber sandals. $50 rubber sandals. I don't know if she got them on sale. I would not recommend paying 50 bucks for these. I think this stuff always goes on sale somewhere. Some retailers, whether it's Birkenstock themselves or other retailers that carry them. That's my opinion. You can't always have that choice with certain things, certain popular things. They're going to sell out, etc. you would got to buy full price or they're just popular enough. But uh, I, so rule of thumb, always wait for things on sale. Yes, no, I know that can't always happen. But with these and these, I would not pay full price for these. I would definitely look for sales. Maybe you might not get your preferred colorway, but... Uh, I just do not think these are worth $160. Um, I'm very happy paying 60 bucks. That's the most I would pay for house shoes. The most. And I know for some of you that might be too expensive. I wouldn't argue with you. 50 bucks for these, too expensive, I think. Hopefully she got these on sale. Um, but I know she does like these. These got to get sweaty, though, on the foot, too, if you're not wearing socks. These are just like that foam, EVA foam. So anyways, there you have it. Uh, maybe down the line, maybe I'll do, if you put enough requests in the, in the comments, all of you, I'll do maybe a wear review after I've you know worn these around the, the house a bit. Let me know what you think of A, Birkenstocks in general. Uh, you fan, you have a pair, you wear them. Remember these were popular back in the 90s for sure. Uh, in the Abercrombie and Fitch days, that you could put together a great fit <laughs> from the mall with some, uh, some Abercrombie and & Fitch and uh, some Birkenstocks, at least where I was from. And now they've come, they've come back in style. So let me know what you think of these. I'm gonna be very nice and cozy. And uh, yeah, more low heat coming up real quick, real quick.